Welcome back people. In this video I'm going to show you how to deploy the site that you've just created. Okay, so if you go back to my uh, GitHub repository, down at the bottom I've shown how you can deploy the website. There are several ways of deploying it. You can deploy it on Netlify, you can deploy using Vercel as well. Okay, so first thing you need to do is go to Vercel, which is Zeet, which was Zeet earlier. Okay. Uh, and you just need to sign up. I'm already signed up, so you know I don't need to sign up again. But you can. And once you sign up, what you need to do is, uh, if you want to do it through GitHub, then you can just import the project. So you like click over here and just import it like this from Git repository. Okay, import, and just search whichever project you want to import and then import it okay if you do it from the github it helps you in continuous in integration which means that every time you go ahead and uh, push your code on a specific branch that you decide over here as settings then that particular branch is going to be pushed and automatically deployed uh, on that URL okay uh, okay so what I'm going to do is I'll just go ahead and create uh, a repository and push my code right so I'll just do that for you new repository and I'm gonna name it as what was it just my Gatsby project my Gatsby project okay and my Gatsby test project and create repository and in the meanwhile I'll just do git init so I'm gonna do rmrf git rmrf dot git and I'm going to do a fresh git init git init and then just add the readme if I don't have one already do I have it let me see you already have a readme that's fine so we'll go back to our Gatsby config and we'll put that a real, real URL over there so in my case I'll put HTTPS Cody Tech Cody Tech dot com slash headless dash CMS so wherever your WordPress site is hosted, you just need to put that there. Okay. Um, I'm going to add all of the files. So git add all. I'm going to do my first commit, and then remote add origin git push origin master. So the first thing I'm going to do is just show you how to deploy it on Vercel, and then we can move on to how to deploy it on. Netlify. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to back to my I'm going to click on import project from git repository import project. So I need to first provide give it an access. Okay, so click on that. So you need to provide the access first. So I'm going to select the repository. So in our case it's my Gatsby project. So I'm going to select that and save it so this gets access and once this, this has the access I'm gonna come back over here refresh it and, and then import from the project and then I can select this one which is my Gatsby project the one we just pushed import it and once we import it I have all of these options click on continue it asks you for a root directory so let it be slash because our project is in root directory hit continue okay and then what is my command to build so if you come back to your repository package.json our command to build will be let's see build which is npm run build so I'll put that there npm run build and then ask you for an output directory so where is it creating output it does create it inside of the public directory so I'll put that as public okay what is my development command so development command will be npm run develop
OK and then I click on deploy so as you can see this is building OK so let's wait for it to build so there you go now you can see this ready and this is a URL that we've got okay so our site is ready and this is where your project is now available so click on that and there you go so all of the content currently is being served from my live site but whatever site you put you're going to get that so there you go congratulations you've got your site on Vercel. perfect